Good morning to all. I am Prashant Jain going to teach you about a pair of linear equation in two variables. Today in part 11 we will learn condition of no solution and find the value of missing number k oblique a oblique b for no solution. So, all of my near and dear one, let's learn. In the previous section, we learned condition of infinitely many solutions. And by using the condition, we find value of k public A, public B. And in this section, we will learn condition of no solution and by using the condition, we are going to find the value of K oblique A oblique B. So, in the very first question, and the question is on your screen, we need to find the value of k for no solution and the equations are on your screen. Now, let's start the solution. Start with the first equation. We need to shift one from right hand side to the left hand side. That is to be the equation number one. Another equation, again, shifting the 2k plus 1 from right hand side towards the left hand side and let it to be the second equation. Now, comparing the equation 1 and equation number 2 with the general equations, we are able to find the value of a1 b1 c1 and a2 b2 c2 now the condition for the no solution is on your screen and that is a1 upon a2 equal b1 upon b2 is not equal c1 upon c2 on placing the values we get This is from the previous screen after putting the value of a1 upon a2, b1 upon b2 and c1 upon c2. Here we start to solve the equation. First of all, we solve the first two parts that is in the blue and red one. Doing the cross multiplication, we are going to multiply 3 with k minus 1 and 1 with 2k minus 1. Now, shifting 2k from right hand side towards the left hand side and minus 3 from left to the right. On simplifying this equation, the value of k becomes 2. Now, we need to solve it further. How? Now, start with the red one and the green one part and that are not equal to each other. The same thing, first of all, minus cancel with minus in the green portion and now doing the cross multiplication we get this equation after shifting the constant towards the right hand side and all variables towards the left hand side we are getting this equation on simplifying the value of k that is not equals to minus 2 further on solving the blue with the green one part, again minus cancel with minus and then doing the cross multiplication. We are getting this equation on shifting the variables and the constants on each of the sides. We are getting this equation on simplifying. We get this equation and then finally we have the value of k that is not equal to minus 1. 
here we have the three condition in one condition the value of k is 2 and in the other condition k is not equals to minus 2 as well as minus 1 so if we are going to find the conclusion about the result then the result definitely k is equals to 2 because other two results are indicating that the value of k is not equal so only the result k is equal to 2 satisfying the condition and the solution of this question is k is equals to 2 and this k is equals to 2 satisfies the given condition one more question and that question you have seen in the previous part also and that in that part we have solved it for many solution now i am going to solve this question for no solution same thing writing the equations and then comparing with the general equations and finding the value of a1 b1 c1 a2 b2 c2 as we know that the condition of the no solution is this putting the value there we getting this equation now moving towards the further this is the previous condition which we have derived earlier now time to solve these three equations first one blue with the red one solve the cross multiplication lambda square is equal to 1 and for the lambda that is equals to plus minus 1 as we have taken the square root in this equation so there are the two values of lambda the one is 1 and the another one is minus 1 now it's more important to solve further because we have the two values of lambda now red one with the green one uh, minus cancel with minus in the right hand side doing the cross multiplication and we are getting lambda cube is not equals to minus 1 and lambda is not equals to 1 this is one of the condition which we have derived now time to solve one more problem that means blue one with the green one doing the cross multiplication cancelling minus towards uh, minus from the both sides we getting this equation shifting lambda from right hand side to the left hand side taking lambda as common and we get the two values of lambda that will not equals to 1 and 0 if we see and conclude the result we see that the lambda cannot be 1 and cannot be 0 but from the first one we have the two values of lambda that is 1 and minus 1 it's clearly stated that lambda cannot be 1 so we left with the value that is lambda is equals to minus 1 one more question and the, your guess is right this is from the previous part and here we are going to solve this question for no solution the equation is on your screen writing the equations comparing with the general equations finding the values and then writing the condition of no solution on putting the values a1 b1 a2 b2 c1 c2 now <clears throat> this is this one is from the previous one for no solution you know that the condition is this but the basic condition does not satisfy from the a1 upon a2 equals to b1 upon b2 because in the condition this must be equal but here this is not equal it means no value of k make it possible in the next video we learn how to reduce equation into linear equations and solving the equation with any of the method Till friends, stay safe, learn more and more and more. Bye-bye. Take care. Thank you.